Matt from Eastwood Company. We're at SEMA 2014. Uh, we, we picked out 10 of our favorite cars and put it out to you, the customers, and let you decide which of yours was the favorite. Uh, we're with Jay from G3 Rods, and we're looking at this uh, 37 Packard. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Love you guys and your tools. So. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. What went into the, you know, what's the history behind this car? How'd you guys get a hold of it? Uh, we just got a shop in town called G3 Rods and a customer come in with it, and this is gonna be his third one we're gonna build from him. And it just started, just didn't work out for him, so we ended up buying it from him myself so we can just build it as a shop car. Uh, I know a lot of these things I've seen, they're, they're basket cases when people start with them. What kind of shape was this in when you, know, when you originally got your hands on? Was it pretty rough? Uh, no, it wasn't too bad. He got it out of a junkyard in Can er, Colorado, oh, okay. and it wasn't too bad. It still had the original blue paint on it. It had been wrecked a little bit, but nothing bad. You know, your normal little rust spots, but it, it was in really nice shape to start out with. You know, obviously it's been modified quite a bit. It's been it's been chopped. Um, you know, it's been set on a different chassis. Can you what? You know, what's some of the some of the big modifications you guys did to get the, you know, the beautiful yeah. lines? Uh, like, like you said, we we wedge chopped it an inch and a half in the front there, channeled it, put it on an Art Morrison chassis yep. so it sit down nice and low. Accuair air management systems yep. on it and everything. A lot of people said trying to figure out what it is. You know, like you said, if you know a Packard grill, you know it. But a lot of them can't quite put their finger on what it is. So. We just built our own dash. We put a classic instruments gauge in the middle mm -hmm. there and put a, it's a 39 Ford bench seat in there, cut it down to fit in there and everything. And a good friend of ours, Dan Weber at Weber's Custom Interiors, put the all white leather interior in there for it. Oh, cool. So yeah, and, you know, all new floors, of course, and everything. Right, so. right. Um, how long has the car been done? You know, is this something you guys just finished up? No, this one's been done for about two years now. We, oh, wow. we probably got about a thousand miles somewhere right in there on it. And, and we just been, this is probably about this last show, really. We might take it to Detroit just so we can go there one time. But right. this, this is probably about the end of it for showing it anywhere, I think. So. You know, a lot of metal work went into this thing. And I know you mentioned that you guys had a little bit of Eastwood tools around. What kind of Eastwood tools did you end up using on this yeah, project? We used like the throw the shear, tons of cleat goes, of course, yep. and everything. And we got various hammers, dollies, shrinker stretchers. Oh, just cool. your, your normal, just metal fabrication tools. And, you know, we buy a lot from Eastwood. They're, they're a good price, they're good value for what they are. They, they've been in the shop for five years, six years, and they're still holding up. Oh, so that's. You can't beat that. Yeah, thanks for being an Eastwood customer. Really appreciate it. We can't can't wait to uh, you know see what happens with the car from here on. Yeah. And good luck in Detroit. Right, <laughs> thanks, man.